In terms of the surgical approach based on tumor biology, in some ways there really isn't any significant difference in terms of the surgery we do, um, lumpectomy versus mastectomy or sentinel node surgery versus axial dissection, just based on whether the tumor is HER2 positive or triple negative. Um, essentially most of the surgical resection is still based on the size of the tumor in relation to the size of the breast, the extent of disease in the nodes, and the patient's preference. That said, in the patients treated with neoadjuvant chemotherapy, we definitely see much higher response rates in patients who are triple negative, and we see the highest response rates in patients that are HER2 positive, treated obviously with chemotherapy along with anti-HER2 therapy. And so when you look at the rates of eradication of disease in the breast, uh, for the HER2 positive population, those rates are over 60%, which is really pretty dramatic. So this uh, patient group is definitely a patient group that benefits from getting their chemotherapy up front. And they're also a great patient group for consideration of breast conservation rather than mastectomy because they're going to have great shrinkage in the breast. And also for consideration of sentinel node biopsy rather than axial dissection because they're going to have the highest rates of response in the lymph nodes as well. So in some ways it doesn't really impact and in some ways it really does. <laughs>